the voice was, oh my God, what's happened here? Tonight, scam calls are said to be on the rise. The Monterey County Sheriff's Office warning people of the fraud. The federal government is also seeing an uptick this year. A Monterey man, he almost fell victim. He says a scammer pretended to be his grandson on the phone. Kiayo and Zanya Herrero live for us outside the Sheriff's Office tonight and tells us what the caller said that smelled like trouble here. And Zanya, we've all gotten those calls where something tell us that it's not right. Our gut is telling us something's way off. Yeah, well, Veronica, I've had a number of scammers try to call me as well. But with Ron's experience, he says the call seemed very real. The person on the other end even sounded like a family member. But he said the biggest red flag was how quick the caller asked for money. Scary moments on a Friday evening for Ron Cheshire. He says he received a call from somewhere in Marina, the voice on the other end of the line pretending to be his grandson who had just been in a severe car accident and was at fault. That he had hit somebody in Monterey and that they had, uh, uh, was a young lady, she was in the hospital, she was pregnant, there was a chance of losing the child. After the person on the other end told them to call someone who would help his grandson out. And I called the individual. And he basically told me that he was a district attorney person in the, in the county of Monterey. The caller was asking for over $9,000 and even offered to pick it up outside of Ron's home. They already have our address, our phone number, who we are and such. But no more than that, it wouldn't give him anything more. Luckily for Ron, he was quick to realize it was a scam call. Uh, it's quite unfortunate that they're doing this to individuals. I hope nobody is giving them too much information. But not everyone is quick like Ron to figure out a scam call. The federal government reports scammers stole $8.8 .8 billion from victims last year, a 30% increase compared to the year before. The Monterey County Sheriff's Office even put up a post on Facebook warning people of these scam callers posing as the Monterey County's warrants department asking for money. Well, I think they fall for them because number one, it did sound real and it sounded like it could have happened uh, without checking back. Now, the Monterey County Sheriff's Office says they will not call to ask for any money at any time. Reporting live in Salinas, Tanya Romero, KION News Channel 46. Thank you, Tanya. The Sheriff's Office is also warning people of calls pretending to be Captain Darlington and soliciting money from victims because of outstanding warrants. Don't fall for it. Today, President Biden arriving in the Bay Area. The president is expected to talk about climate change and energy in Palo Alto. He's also expected to hold a private fundraiser for his 2024 campaign. Biden's